Monitor and control risks. The last step in risk management is monitoring and control of the risk management activities that involves tracking identified risks. Monitoring residual risks, identifying new risks, and evaluating risk process effectiveness throughout the project. The input to this process are risk register, risk management plan, and performance reports. Why performance reports are input to this process? Because performance reports in the form of an earned value analysis gives an accurate status of the project health and risk management effectiveness can be analyzed in a light of the project progress. The techniques used for monitoring and control of the risk are risk audits in terms of checking whether the project is really identifying risks and working on having a plan to resolve the risk or not. The other strategy is to do continuous risk reassessment, which is kind of a periodic review of the risk management plans. Risks are also one of the key discussion topics in project status review meeting, as team members can point out to new risks. Regular members also ensure that team members are aware of their responsibility to always look for new risks and opportunities for project. Reserve analysis is also done throughout the risk monitoring and control process to check if the new identify risk requires additional reserve to be added to take care of any eventuality. The outputs of this process are updates risk list. For example, some risk that are no longer applicable will get removed from the risk register. Any monitoring process also results in some corrective or preventive action to ensure that same mistakes do not get repeated in future. This process also results in organization process asset updates like updating lesson learned database about best practices in risk management.